Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about inheritance in object oriented programming. Inheritance is one of the powerful features of object oriented programming. It allows us to inherit or to use the properties and attributes of one class into another class. So let's see the example of class inheritance. First of all, let's create a simple class. Let's say class employee and let's create a dunder init method and for this class let's use three instance variables let's say first name last name and salary now self that first name equals first name self that last name equals last name self the salary equals salary now let's also create a dunder str method and let's return let's use the f string and let's return first name and last name and let's also create a instance method let's say get salary and let's return the salary okay so here we created a employee class and in this class we have three instance variables they are first name last name and salary and we have one instance method called get salary that returns the salary of that employee now we will create another class so that we can inherit or we can use these instance variables and these methods of this employee class so to do that we have to inherit this employee class now let's create another class let's say class developer and we will inherit this employee class into this developer class and to do that we will type employee inside this small bracket and we can just uh, leave this class empty for now so we can just pass okay so now we have this developer class that inherit employee class that means this developer class inherits all the properties and all the attributes of employee class so in the employee class we have these instance variables and we have this get salary method so since this developer class is inheriting this employee class the object of this developer class will also be able to use these variables and these methods so let's create an object for this developer class so let's say dev1 equals developer now since the init method of this employee class is taking these three variables first name last name and salary and since the developer class is also inheriting the employee class we have to pass these three variables while creating the developer class so we will pass first name last name and salary so let's say James Davidson and let's pass the salary as 20,000 okay so here we just created an object of developer class we have not written anything inside this developer class we have just used this pass keyword and we have these variables and method in employee class which the developer class is inheriting so let's see if we can use these variables from this developer object so let's try to print first name last name and salary so let's print dave one the first name dave one the last name and dave one the salary now let's run this so as you can see we are able to access first name last name and salary from this dave one which is the object of developer class and even if this first name last name and salary are defined inside employee class we are able to 
access these variables from the developer object because the developer is inheriting the employee class. Now let's also try to access this get salary method. So instead of day one the salary, we can just call get salary method and it will also return this 20,000. So if we run this, we still get 20,000. Okay, now let's say for this developer class, we also want to pass some other variable other than first name, last name and salary. So let's say we also want to pass the programming language for this developer. Now we don't have the programming language variable inside this employee because we just want to use that inside developer class. So to do that, what we do is we will create the init method inside this developer class. So init. Now we have to pass all the variables that is first name, last name, salary and we also want to pass one more additional variable for this developer which is programming language. So let's say language. Now since first name, last name and salary are already defined inside employee class, we can use the init method inside employee class to pass these three variables. Now to do that, we will use the super keyword super dot init and we will pass first name, last name and salary. So here what we are doing is we are simply calling the init method of the super class. Now since the developer class is inheriting the employee class, employee is the super class of developer and developer is the subclass of employee. We can also say employee is the parent class of developer and developer is the child class of employee. So here we are using this super keyword to indicate that we are calling this init method from the super class and we are passing first name, last name and salary to these three variables right here. Now the super class employee does not have this language variable because language is only used inside developer class. We can say self dot language equals language. Now here when creating an object of developer, we also need to pass the value for this language. So after this salary, let's pass value for the programming language. Let's say Python. Now we can also print dev1.language and it should print Python. So let's run. Ah, actually this super is not a keyword, it's a function. So we have to add this bracket and now we should be good to go. Let's run and there we go. We have this Python, which is the language for this dev1, which is the new variable for developer class in addition to first name, last name and salary. Now, in this employee class, we have this dunder str method, which is returning first name and last name. So here, if we try to print dev1, it should print first name and last name that is James Davidson. So let's try to print this. So we got James Davidson, but in the class inheritance, we can also overwrite the methods. So here for this developer class, we can create another dunder str method. And instead of returning first name and last name, let's return this language. So return self dot language. And now if we try to print dev, 
instead of printing James Davidson it should print Python so let's run and we got Python so just like this dunder str method we can also overwrite get salary method so let's create a method get salary and instead of returning salary let's return salary is confidential so now if we try to call this get salary method it will print salary is confidential so let's run and we got salary is confidential so in this method overwriting what happens is when we call a method from a class object it will look for that method in that class first so since dev1 is the object of developer class when we call get salary method it will look for this method inside developer class so in the developer class it found get salary so it will return the value from this get salary but if the get salary method is not in the developer class so let's remove this method now it will look for that method in its parent class or the super class so developer is inheriting employee class so it will look for this get salary method inside employee class so in the employee class we have get salary method and it will return salary so now if we call get salary it will return the value from this get salary and we will get the salary so if we run this we get 20,000 now this is called single inheritance because this developer is inheriting a single class that is employee now in Python it is also possible to inherit multiple classes that is called multiple inheritance so let's create one more class let's say class person and let's also create a dunder method and this method will take address and self dot address will be address okay now we have class employee and class person in this developer class we are inheriting employee so this is a single inheritance but now let's also inherit this person class in this developer so to do that we will just add this person inside this bracket so now this developer class is inheriting employee and person so now the object of this developer class can access the variables and methods of both employee and person class so in the person we have one variable which is address so now since developer is inheriting the person class as well this dev1 object can also access and use this address variable so now in this dunder init method we also need to add address so let's add address and now since we are using the multiple inheritance we cannot use this super function because now developer has two super classes that is employee and person so if we use this super function this super function will not be able to determine which of the super classes are we trying to use so instead of using this super function we have to provide the actual class name so this first name last name and salary are the variables of employee class so we need to provide employee dot init and we also need to pass this self as the first parameter just like here and this address is the variable of person class so just like employee dot init we have to call person dot init and then self and then we'll pass address and this language 
is the variable of developer class so we can just say self dot language equals language and now when creating the object of developer we also need to pass the value for this address so let's say New York is the address for this developer so now let's print all the values let's print Dave one dot first name Dave one dot last name Dave one dot salary Dave one dot address and they one dot language and let's run so we have first name last name salary address and language so here this first name last name and salary is the variable from this employee class first name last name salary this address is the variable from this person class so address is New York and this language is the variable of this developer class itself so here we are able to use the properties of three different classes employee person and developer by just creating an object for this developer class so this is one of the biggest advantage and power of class inheritance we can access the properties of multiple classes by just using one object and we can even override the methods of the parent class from the child class so this is one of the biggest features of object oriented programming and as a software developer we have to use these features multiple times when we are working on a project so I hope this was a helpful lesson for you guys that's gonna do it for this video I'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye